Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will show you how to create this cool looking little wall structure diagram or wall material diagram using Revit. And before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like these every day. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start an architectural template and when it opens up I'm just going to create a simple wall WA is the shortcut for wall and here in the properties panel I'm just going to search for some complex wall doesn't really matter which one you use well obviously you're going to use the one you want to represent the diagram of so I'm just going to use this bring brick on MLT stud so I'm just going to create here a 2 meter wall so this is just a short wall this is basically like a, a sample that you're using just to show what materials you're using and here I can turn on materials or basically this detail level to find so you can see all the layers we have over here and I'm just going to select it and again in the properties panel let's just make it 2000 which means 2 meters high so this is a 2 by 2 2 by 2 kind of a square and to see a bit better all the materials I'm just going to go here to realistic and as you can see here we only have brick material on one side and the rest of us it is this generic ugly gray so in order to change that you need to select your wall and here on the modify panel you have this create tab and there is this create parts and if you click it it will divide your wall into all the little layers you have so now we're basically halfway there we have all the materials but let's create kind of a cut view because like this it's hard to see how many materials we have and which which type of materials it is so we need to kind of cut each one a little bit to see it better and before I start cutting we have this uh, basically it's an air material or it's a void basically air an air layer and you don't really need that in this presentation so I'm just going to select it and go here to exclude parts so it kind of disappears and it looks better and to, in order to see that we have this hole I'm just going to go here and turn on the shadows and now it kind of creates some depth so let's start cutting into this material so I'm just going to select the first one the brick one and go divide parts so that allows you to basically divide this wall and create that little cut I'm going to go to edit sketch and as you can see here we have this light up this uh, basically a reference plane so we're just going to change it so just go set pick a plane OK and I'm going to choose this one the front one because we're cutting it over there and as you can see now this little boundary line is over here so we can just do everything in 3D I'm just going to create a line going like this let's just move it in a bit and just make sure that the line is exiting this boundary line that's going around and once you've done that just hit here finish edit mode and as you can see here we have the cut so just go again finish edit mode and now we can select this little corner of the wall and go exclude parts so it will exclude that portion of the wall now we can select the other one so just select this wood paneling I'm going to select it go again divide parts edit sketch set work plane pick a plane okay so I'm just going to pick this one and then I'm going to use the pick lines and choose the same line that we have here but I'm going to select it and move it inward a little bit so in the front view it looks kinda like that maybe extend it a little bit oh I kinda messed up okay so move it kinda like that so we have that line again go check check then we select this corner part and go exclude parts now you can't really hit delete it will you will get an error message you need to use that exclude parts so now we select this one go again divide parts edit sketch set work plane pick a plane ok pick this one there you go pick lines so again I'm going to pick this surface over here 
and again select it and kind of move it a little bit inward like so and extend it to cut this boundary line go again OK OK and now we select the corner and go exclude parts and for this one you can just leave it as it is over here but I like to cut even the last one it kind of looks more proportional or I guess so again edit sketch set work plane pick a plane OK pick this one again pick lines choose this one and again just move it a little bit inside and extend it to hit this boundary line go OK OK and let's just select it and exclude it okay so we have our basically our wall over here we need to add some material tags to make this diagram even better or more informative and to do that we need to go here to annotation and you have this material tag over here and if you select it you will get this error message that you need to lock your 3d view so I'm just going to go to OK and to lock your 3D view that's basically just this here lock or unlock your 3D view but before I do that I'm just going to go here to click to get to this perspective and this looks alright so I'm just going to lock it in place go save orientation and lock view so you will save it as a new view so I'll just call it let's just call it diagram go OK and now you can't really orbit around so even if I'm trying to orbit I can I can't and now when we have this you can either use it like so or you can select this part and maybe go into displace elements and kinda move it around and then maybe you want to do it like that to have more distance between materials but I prefer to leave it like this and if you're interested in these exploded 3D views I have a tutorial on that and the link is in the description of this video so now let's add just the material tags so I'm just going to go here material tag and let's tag first let's start from the brick go like this maybe like that and if the text is too large just you can just change the scale to I don't know 1 by 50 now we can bring this in a bit Yeah, so we have this is common brick. Okay, again, material tag. So I'm going to go for the second one. Like so. Maybe we can move this here. Then let's go for the third one. Over here, like so. And let's do the final one material tag kinda like this and maybe align it a little bit okay this should be a brick yeah common brick move it here and move this joint over here to align with all of these joints okay that's yeah this should be there for some reason we have these two drip some wallboard now it's kinda hard to select the material sometimes let's try this over here yeah so now the materials are right just make sure that the actual arrow is hitting on the material it's kind of hard to get it in place but once you do it works so let's align it a little bit so okay now we have this diagram let's just add a name so just go text and let's just name it I don't know wall structure diagram go modify okay now we can select it make it a little larger like this move it in place and there you go we have this great looking wall structure diagram in Revit and we're only using the tools in Revit to create it 
Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.